at Southern Cross University, um, I lead a program of research that's um, looking to preserve, protect and increase access to First Nations traditional medicines. There's several projects that we're doing at the moment with the long-term goal of First Nations traditional medicines actually integrated into different archos around Australia. That way we can improve the access for um, our people. We tend to have a very different concept of health and wellbeing to that of what underpins conventional healthcare in Australia. Conventional healthcare is based on the biomedical model and it's underpinned by reductionist uh, views. And so that's why um, in the conventional medicine system we have in Australia, all of the different parts of a person is broken down. So you'll see a specialist for each different part of your system. First Nations people, they tend to have holistic views um, and collectivist views, uh, worldview as well. So that means that we look at the body as a whole, but we also look past that to our spirit, our community, our family, our country. So all the different parts of life are actually really important to our health and wellbeing and we need to look at them as one whole. That's why we need to look at First Nations traditional medicines to actually you know, meet those needs and hopefully um, close the gap. We are looking to do a national survey on this. So we have two uh, surveys going out. So one um, that is focused on First Nations um, adults. And so their use of the medicines and their preferences around uh, if they would like to have them, uh, access to them at Archos or um, part of their palliative care. And also a second survey to go out to anyone working in a health service that has a significant number of First Nations patients for them to provide us some information around like barriers and enablers to actually integrating uh, First Nations traditional medicines into uh, their services.